This video will show you how to do partial fractions and simultaneous equations with casual FX991EX class width. Suppose we want to do a partial fraction of 2s over s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2. That is equal to a times s plus b over s squared plus 4 plus cs plus d over s squared plus 2s plus 2. In order to find a, b, c, d, we multiply both sides by s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2. Then you get s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2 times 2s over s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2. On the left hand side, on the right hand side I have as plus b over s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2 plus cs plus d over s squared plus 2s plus 2 times s squared plus 4 times s squared plus 2s plus 2. Then, after some cancellation, s squared plus 4 cancel, s squared plus 4 cancel, and s squared plus 2s plus 2 cancel, s squared plus 2s plus 2 cancel. Eventually, you have 2s equal to as plus b times s squared plus 2s plus 2 plus cs plus d times s squared plus 4. To find a, b, c, d, we need to compare the coefficients. Let's compare the coefficient of s cubed. On the left hand side, there is no s cubed. So, you can write 0 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, let's see where are the s cubed. There is an a s times s squared. So, this will give you an a s cubed. And then there is a cs times s squared. So this will give you a cs cube. And there are no more s cube from the multiplication of terms. So let's call this equation 1. Next, we compare s squared. On the left hand side, there are no s squared, so you write a zero here, and then look at right hand side. Where are the s squared? The s squared are coming from a s times two s. This will give you two a s squared, and then. There's another s square coming from b times s square. So this will give you b s square. And there's another s square coming from d times s square. They will give you d s square. Let's call this equation 2. 
Let's compare coefficient of x power 1. On the left hand side, we have 2 times s. So we write 2 on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we look at where are the s come from. That is as times 2. This will give you 2as. And then there is also another one, b times 2s. This will give you 2bs. And then for the second term, we have cs times 4. This will give you 4cs. And there's no more s. So let's call this equation 3. Finally, let's compare the terms without s. Constant term. On the left hand side, there is no constant term. So we can write 0 on the left hand side. And then the right hand side, the constant term comes from b times 2. This will give you 2b. So we write 2b here. And another constant term coming from d times 4. So we can write add another 4d. And this is the fourth equation. So now that we have four equations and four unknowns, let's check our equation first before we solve them. Note the number of terms. Here, got two terms. Here, got three terms. So when you multiply together, you get six terms. And there are two terms here. There are two terms here. Multiply together, you got four terms. So total, you should get ten terms. And you count the number of terms here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Therefore, we have not missed any term and we have not double count any terms. And we are ready to solve this simultaneous equation. Not all calculators can solve four equations and four unknowns. Casual 991EX is one of such calculator. Let's go to menu and then move down and select equations. Press equal and select one for simultaneous equation. Enter the number of unknowns four. And you are ready to enter the coefficient. In the calculator the unknown are x, y, z, and t. And then you have the right hand side. So let's enter the coefficient. I'm going to use x for a, y for b, z for c, and t for d. So the first equation I have 1x. 0y, 1z, 0t, and the right hand side is 0. The second equation, I have 2x, 1y, 0c, and 1t. And the right hand side is also 0. The third equation I have 2x, 2y, 4c, and 0t. And the right hand side is 2. The fourth equation I have 0x, 2y, 
zero z forty equal to zero. Then to solve a b c d or x y z t press equal again, you find x equal to minus one over five. That is a equal to negative one over five. B equal to four over five. C equal to one over five. D equal to negative two over five. So we have solved A, B, C, D. A equal to negative one over five. B equal to four over five. C equal to one over five. D equal to negative two over five.